Good morning, everyone. P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another edition of Classic Live Album War. Today we've got two Red Hot guitar players. Ironically, both worked together with each other. Uh, then one left the band, formed his own band, okay, and went on to great heights. Both well-known. One for mainly being a bluesy guy, a blues rock guy. The other did blues and rock and pop, produced all sorts of things. Uh, still going strong today. The other left us a few years ago. But we're talking about, for today's matchup, Johnny Winter captured live. Okay. And on the other end of the ring, you've got Rick Derringer and company Derringer live. Uh, both two pretty sizzling live sets. Both single LP upon release, also single CD upon reissue. Both damn good. Damn good. There is no shortage of guitar work, tight grooves, and all sorts of great stuff on these two albums. Both feature a dual guitar attack. So, released in 1976, Johnny Winter captured live. Okay, this follows the other live album from a few years before that. Johnny Winter and Live, okay. Here you've got only six tracks, okay, a couple of extended tunes, lots of ripping guitar work from Johnny, who plays lead and slide guitar vocals. You've got uh, Randy Joe Hobbs on bass and backing vocals, Richard Hughes on drums, and Floyd Radford on co-guitar. So kicking it all off, we've got a sizzling rendition of Boney Maroney, feeling, feeling, featuring no shortage of dazzling guitar work from Johnny and Mr. Radford, okay? Then you've got a Roll With Me, all right? Ironically, a tune written by the other guy in this competition, Rick Derringer, all right? Quite good and rocking. Then you got Rock and Roll People, okay? An old John Lennon song here, given a firm blue stamp from Johnny and the Boys, okay? Then a cover of the Bobby Womack classic, It's All Over Now. And again, what's great about it, you know, a good chunk of these tunes are covers, on this album, but all given that kind of Johnny Winter stamp, right? It's just that they totally become Johnny Winter uh, classics here. And then for track number five, you've got the 10 plus minute Highway 61 revisited, of course, a Bob Dylan song here featuring Johnny's uh, awesome slide guitar, right? And then ending the CD is a Johnny Winter original titled Sweet Papa John. Okay, 12 plus minutes of stirring, emotional, gutsy blues guitar. I mean, the, the solos on this album are great. And I love, like, when Johnny just explodes, he you know steps on his phaser and just, like, blazes, okay? Uh, just a, a great, one of the best guitar performances, I think, from Johnny Winter on any of his albums. It's, it's just a, a really, really great set. And, of course... Signed by the man himself. I actually had the pleasure of meeting Johnny Winter a couple of years before he passed. Um, kind of a shell of himself at the time. Didn't really say too much, but uh, it was just great to meet him. And uh, so forever I've got that signature on this great live album. One of those live albums you wish was longer, right? There's a lot of those. A lot of those single live album sets back in the 70s uh, could have and should have been so much longer. But compact and ass-kicking. All right. On the other end, okay, released a year later, we've got Rick Derringer and, and company. Derringer Live, of course, you got Rick on guitar and vocals. You've got uh, the great Kenny Aronson on bass and vocals. You've got Danny Johnson on guitar and vocals. Danny Johnson, another guy who's been around for a long time. Played with a lot of people, okay. Also was in Alcatraz in the 80s, right? Was in Axis. I mean, he's got this, done a lot of stuff. And, of course, Vinny Apice on drums. Vinny would later move on to, of course, Black Sabbath, along with Ronnie James Dio, Tony Iommi, and Geezer Butler. Uh, but here we've got tracks recorded from various locations. All right, both of these were recorded uh, not from one single show. Uh, a lot of really sizzling tunes on here as well. Little more in the hard rock vein on this album, uh, whereas this is a bit more bluesy, but both have lots of good like blues rock elements, okay? So we've got the kind of... Um, snappy upbeat crisp hard rocker to kick it all off let me in great vocals on that catchy tune uh then you got the irresistible teenage love affair a great pop rocker okay here giving a little more hard rock thump uh then you got the wonderful sailor all right 
I can't stress enough the great dual lead guitar work between Danny Johnson and Rick Derringer on here. Fantastic. Okay, then of course Beyond the Universe, which is like an excursion for all sorts of guitar mayhem. Wonderful stuff. Sitting by the Pool, another really cool, memorable hard rocker. Uncomplicated, still alive and well. Again, an old Johnny Winter classic, okay, done really well on here. And then, of course, these guys can't go without playing rock and roll hoochie coo. Here, near nine minutes, more guitar mayhem from these guys. Just a blistering performance. And I think it's safe to say that both of these albums are just equally exceptional when it comes to all sorts of uh, guitar acrobatics and scorching guitar riffs and sizzling solos and all that sort of thing. So like we normally do uh, on these shows, because of course we're trying to figure out what everybody's favorite live album of all time is. So we've got this tournament going on. Uh, occasionally I do, do, I do these matchups where up to the second that I'm doing the show, I have no idea which one I can pick. Okay. I like these ones just about equally. I honestly, here we are, we're six minutes in, and I've been debating this all morning and all day yesterday, and I'm like, God. And I listened to both of them multiple times in the last two days because I want to, you know, sometimes I like to do a refresher, especially when I'm kind of like torn between which one I'm going to pick. And here we are, six and a half minutes in. I still really don't know which one I can actually say I prefer. All right. Uh, you know, this is probably my favorite uh, Johnny Winter live release okay by a little bit over the johnny winter hand live from a couple years before it uh and i will say i probably listen to a lot more johnny winter than i do rick derringer but man this is killer this is killer uh this is just a, a perhaps for me based on you know stuff that i really really like this is a little more hard rocking okay but this this is no slouch here right um I think overall, probably Johnny's playing is the best out of anything you're going to get on here. But man, there's something about the chemistry between Johnson and Derringer that I just really love on here. Really, really love on here. So uh, it pains me to do this, but I'm, I'm going to give the... And, and again, I was going to go with Johnny this morning, but then I went and re-listened to this again. I'm like, oh man. So I'm going to go with Rick Derringer, Derringer Live, by the slightest, slightest of hairs here. This is a crazy S split decision, okay? 116, 114, 115, 114, 113, 115. The win, squeaking it out, a back and forth battle, round to round to round, it's fight of the year, okay? We had a couple knockdowns along the way, a lot of master craftsman boxing, all right? Rick and company with that jab that kind of kept going in Johnny's face. Johnny, the powerhouse, all right, with all those uppercuts and roundhouse lefts. But in the end, in the end, the just ever so more busy jab from Derringer and company is going to win this 12-round split decision. Maybe they'll have a rematch someday, right? Probably deserve it. So anyway, again... For me, it's almost a pick em, all right? But I know a lot of you get upset with me when I don't actually pick one. So rather than say a draw, because I know I've used that uh, wild card a couple times, uh, I'm, I'm going to go with Derringer today. You ask me tomorrow, I may, I may say something different. But for today, I'm going to pick and I'm going to vote myself for Rick Derringer, Derringer Live, ever so slightly over Johnny Winter. But man, I love both of these. There's, they're two of the best kind of like, along with like Robin Trower Live and, uh, you know, Rory Gallagher Irish Tour. Some of the best, uh, Pat Travers, Go For What You Know, Fog Hat Live, you know, some of the best single album live releases of all time. I mean, just great, great stuff here. Great stuff. This is on the web at www.catranquilly.org. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. Of course, we are on YouTube all the damn time. So stay tuned for later today. We got another good one coming up uh, later this afternoon that I know you'll enjoy. We got some more this weekend. Questions and answers tomorrow morning at 9:30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You don't want to miss that. And uh, you know all sorts of other mayhem coming up here on the Sea Tranquility Channel. So. Don't miss out. You know how to vote. Upper right-hand corner, you'll see a little white circle with a little letter I in it. Click on that. You can vote for either of these two. Okay. You can also go on our Facebook page. You can vote there. You can vote on both places. You know how it works. After six days, I stop counting. I take the, the totals from both, combine them. Whoever wins goes on to round two. And whoever loses 
thanks for playing, but we can always still enjoy their music, right? That's what this is all about, revisiting a lot of these great albums, okay? And either for some of you who have never heard them, now's a chance to go listen to them. Uh, for those of you who have, um, it's a great time to revisit and enjoy what we loved for our whole lives, right? Because these are some sensational albums here we've been talking about over the last bunch of weeks, right? And we got more to come. So uh, we're still in round one. All right, we probably got about another week, week and a half left, and then we're moving on to, you know, we're going to have a week break so we can tally up those last few, and then I've got the round two bracket. We'll be ready to go, and we can start once again uh, with all of our previous winners going against each other and so on and so on. So this is probably going to take us through the end of the year, all right, but we want to crown your favorite live album of all time. That's the point of this whole thing, all right? So we'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.